everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to continue on here in Black Book. Alright, let's go ahead and deal with the charts that are done. So you brought me some milk. Nice. What else do you want to know? What happened next? How did you live in a church? Ah, we see Lisa. Hard to remember. As if all the memories were gone with the wind. So, you don't remember anything? Just a bit. Too little. Well, what you looking at? Try to live such a long time, and then we'll see how good you are with all this remembering business. I do remember living in a rich house where I always sat. As a suscepta, I guess. And I looked over all three sides. All four, you mean? No, no. I remember this quite well. Three of them. Our side, one below, and one above. And then there was a wind. It blew at all times, cold, northern. And river shells whispered me something. Sounds eerie. No, it was all right. But it is not the whole story. Just give me some time, and I will have it all. What else do you want to know? Why do you need a pruno? You're undead. The undead need a treat from time to time, don't they? You know, they sometimes treat Susietkas and the parents. Why am I any different? What else do you want to know? Let's go. We'll talk later. Let's go. Yes, it's good that I'm not one of those petty charts from hell. Work all day or curse people. That's like a kind of work too, right? I'm perfectly content lying here watching after the household. That's my thing. What should the demo boy do if not prepare firewood? Lots of things. You haven't had a susietka for a long time, so your roof caved in a bit. Sedge and other things grow in it. I wouldn't let it get this far. Well, I'll clean this place up when I have time. I'm still not settled in here. Maybe you could help my chorts? Yeah, right. I have my paws full with matters of my own. Looking after the house, getting rid of the mice, putting out the fire. Yeah? You think that's enough work? I'd say so. Hey. How are you doing in Grandpa's box? I'm doing fine here. I feel calmer, even. You don't have icons? And it's not like they used to have them in the church. And the corner over there reminds me of the old times. They used to keep food and the gods there. We'll talk later. So much firewood will last us a long time. Old Igor made the chorts cut the firewood. Hey, you! Got faster, curse you! Been chewing at my scalp all through my life. I... Now let's get to work. So, Grandpa, the chorts listen to you. Of course. We've living together for so long. They still remember me. 
and they're quite scared of you. It's good that shorts help around the house, right? Well, uh, yes. Catching firewood, that's nothing. Once I send them to plow the field, and they plowed the whole area through and through, the vacant areas and the seeded plots too, they need lots of looking after. Still, they have their uses. Maybe I should look for wolves in the forest? What? No, we need evil spirits. Ordinary wolves won't do. I have an idea. Don't fret. We'll break this seal in time. How did you get that Isba, Grandpa? The Isba? I inherited it. The older ones eventually all moved away. Uh, some went away. Some stayed in Gilgard. The house was left to me by my parents. It's old, like me. We don't have much time left. Soon we'll both go to the afterlife. I'm leaving this Isba to you. There's no one else. All right, Grandpa. I need to go. This is Ba used to house a lot of people. Now it's only me and Grandpa. Okay. Now let's go ahead and leave. Oh wait, hold on. Just doing a quick run around just in case.
Okay. little fir tree. Hey. Sing winds from the quietest to quiet, from the lightest to light. Lift up the branches and send from the grave. Split, Mother Earth. Reveal yourself, coffin lid. And fly open, white shrouds, and draw open sweet lips. Tell me, my darling, of your life there, and ask me of our life here. I've been living here, wandering from place to place. I've witnessed all kinds of grief. All kinds have I suffered. I saved a girl from a banya. See, there's some good done with this knowledge. I saved another girl from the wretched claws of a Vodinoid. I'll do anything to save you. Even if it means raising all the villages on Earth, my chorts will help us be together. Soon you'll be back, my darling. As soon as I break all the seals, and you... Teach me. Guide me, miserable orphan that I am, how to break all the seals of the book. And I will reach out my white hands and pull you from the other shore. <sighs> Okay. Lisa, here you are. I've been thinking about that wind and three sides and river shells. So you've remembered about being Sosietko in that spa? No. I think we should go back in the church in Yenidorf. Maybe something will come up there. Let's go. But is there anything left? Centuries have passed. We'll search near the foundations, in the cellar. All secrets are hidden underground. You know that better than most. When we'll be in Galbets, maybe then I can tell some future. I'm a associate after all. Okay. Let's go. Proshka stops every now and then. Circling around a bit, he hesitantly proceeds on his course. It seems as if something is bothering the demon. Something about the road ahead that he hasn't himself realized yet. At the next stop, a gust of wind blows dust in your face. Could it be a demonic wedding? You jump into prickly roadside bushes, dragging Proshka with you. After a few moments, the wind dies down. All right, we're off to a crossroads. The road whirlwind is a harbinger of a northern night. The wind bends the trees and sends dust and leaves flying to the empty spaces of the Yemdor crossroads. Somewhere deep in the forest, 
A lone wolf begins his song. Roshka stops in hesitation once more. What a wind. Why are you standing there, Proshka? I remember. I used to visit this place often. Perhaps when I was alive, one of the chutes. Doesn't look like my church was worshipped in much, does it? All you think is about being worshipped. What else could happen in the crossroads that tied Proshka to this place? Perhaps he had a meeting of the chute there. Yes. We were known for discussing matters at the crossroads. What else will you think of? All right. Let's go to Yenidor. I bet we can find something there. The old bridge creaks from the cold wind, the cold water of some swampy river rippling beneath it. In the middle of it, you notice forest chorts looking at you with their cold, lifeless eyes from the reeds. The demon needs only lift his paw for the forest spirits to scramble in panic. You look at him in amazement. Was this his doing, or do the spirits know about the power of the black book? You're not what we consider an average girl, are you? In that case, I'll show you some fine wares. Here, take a look. Okay, let's see what I can purchase. Okay. Go here. The northern wind bends the treetops. Their rustling fills the swamps with a rhythmical noise in which you hear the whisperings of leshies and the wings of demons flapping beneath the ground. You stop for a minute, thinking of how ancient these forests truly are. How many centuries have they stood here? How many centuries will they stand yet? Your meditations are interrupted by Proshka's grumbling. Yanidor is close. This church looks empty now. Dump, right? Look at all this rotten wood. And it used to all be so fine. Don't just stand there, Vaisa. There is the door to the undercroft. Open it. Jeez. No need to be pushy.
When you approach the old wooden planks, you feel a draft. Some pictures are mixed with the icons. It's not as simple as that. Search the chests. Perhaps you'll find something. What am I looking for? How would I know? Now, don't look at me like that. There are icons all over the place. It's bad for me to look at them, you know? When you approach the old wooden planks, you feel it. Behind the planks, you see a narrow crawl space leading deeper underground. The idols have river shells scattered around them. Majestic idols of old are now lying in heaps in this dank and wet dugout. The eerie faces of the forgotten deities seem to emanate a cold draft. One of the idols is missing his carved face. They're so... majestic. I've seen these idols, Vasilisa. You've been in this dugout before? Yes, but when? Was it long ago? Something is missing. As if one of the passes on the Hunter's calendar has disappeared. Add it, and everything fits right into place. Where am I supposed to be looking? An ancient wooden angel is watching you indifferently. You peer into his face, and it looks as if he's wearing a wooden mask. You touch the mask, and it falls to your feet. Its image reminds you of the strange shorts depicted on the idols of the demons. Old church books. An old kitchenware. It's not as simple as that. Search the chests. What am I looking for? How would I? Now, don't look at me. It's bad for me. An ancient wooden angel is watching you.
Were they gifts from the people? Behind the planks, you see a narrow crawl space. Majestic idols of old are now lying in heaps in the... to me. That's right. That's how I used to look when they called me white. Mm. Oh. Hunters used to bring the river shells from the north, and I flew at the all-knowing wind with no rest and no respite. Roshka, is that you? Vasilisa, I remembered everything. All thanks to you. Your name was Voipi. Who are you? I used to be a god. The lord of the northern wind and master of the true people's destiny. Those who lived in the forests of Cherry. I was once powerful for a time. Other gods came and believe in me dwindled. Thou shalt not worship the idol of Voipi and thou shalt not do out funeral fists to him. And thus it came to be. The lights of altars dwindled, and so did my powers. Are those your idols beneath the church? Yes, they are. It was my last temple, this dugout. I still remember that woman. Didn't want to lose the old thing. She hid my idols and put my face on the angels. That's how I survived. As a demon, but in a halo of ecclesiastical glory. Why all the shells? This is my symbol. My ears. I used to be omnipresent in this area. I used to cool the ferocious flame of the sun with my will. But that time is long gone. All that's left of his shells. Bones of the past, long forgotten. What will you do now? I'll stay with you. I am in your debt. It's not like I've suddenly grown in power. The universe has been turned upside down. The gods of all the today's demons. And so did I. When people forgot about me, I forgot about myself. And lost my erstwhile power. But now my past has returned, along with some of my strength. I will help you, Vasilisa. Who knows what other rebirths can I undergo? Oh, that? For something. So it turned out that our Proshka used to be a chewed demon. Jesus Christ! Didn't expect that, Grandpa, did you? Perhaps now I'll be the one to tell you to hunt mice. Unbelievable! I didn't think that such strong spirit would enter your service. I'm glad all the training worked out. Or is it the book? So, now you're going to stay with us? Well, yeah. I'll live out my cat life with Vasilisa. I found mine, now I help Vasilisa find hers. And no nagging about mice. You might be Saint George himself, but you should still do your duty. 
While I still have my teeth, I'm the master of this house. Don't worry, Grandpa. I'll take care of it. Consider the mice gone. <laughs> how do you like my new fur? What a glow. I don't know how to address you now. Proshka or Voipil? Proshka it is. I've told you that I'll stay with you until all the seals are opened. You've helped me. Now it's my turn. I'm not scared of any sharks. How can they possibly harm me? What kind of spirit are you? A chewed one. Thurmans believed in me in the olden days. My powers have veins. I can catch mice, though. You're helping me then again. Yeah, and my power grows because of that. So I won't leave you. You've remembered your past, but won't you forget it all once again? Yes, you become that what you're doing. If you'll be a societa for a hundred years, then you'll become one. If you wouldn't have reminded me of the past, then who knows? Maybe I would have become a hairy old man then in another hundred. Enough of this societa business. When you'll free your guy, I go back to mountains. I will fly around like a free northern wind. I won't forget a thing that way. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end it here for today, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I will see y'all tomorrow with more Kingdom Hearts. Bye, y'all.